Welcome to Kenshi and welcome to the channel in Twisted Logic. This is my new favorite way to start the game. Wanderer. None of the game modifiers changed. Begin. So we just have a Greenlander here. And we started in the hub. And immediately I'm going to go to the maps. And zoom in. And we're headed right to the high village. Let's see if we make it there. Fastest speed. Excellent, we made it to the high village. And now we're going to use this copper resource as a job. I'm also going to create the medical task and move that up. So we're hitting this copper resource right now. All of our stats are pretty much zero. We've got three athletics. It's a little after noon here, almost one. And. The only thing we did was run over here. Now we're waiting for the a beak thing or a gorilla to attack. I'm also going to turn sneak on. And if I go to my stats, we're going to look at this stealth stat right here. And I'm just going to move the character right over there. Stealth is going way up pretty quickly. Got all these hivers here. So we're going to be training stealth. We're going to be training strength, dexterity, and martial arts. And a little bit of athletics. Oh, here's some fight over here. Gorilla right over here. We're running over there. As soon as the hivers take them down, let's turn jobs off for now. Passive on, why not? Oh, excellent. We're going to pick up the Grulo. Now, holding down control, we're going to go, it highlights the sign. So, we're going to go to this robotic shop here. Jobs off, passive off. Put this gorilla right in the bed, in the camp bed here. Now this gorilla is slightly injured here, and if I right click, attack unprovoked. And now I want to go into my inventory and get rid of the weapon. Stats. And we're going to be looking at dexterity and martial arts. Unpause. Attack. If the if you put the gorilla in the bed and it doesn't give you the option to fight it right away, then it may be that the gorilla is knocked out. It has to be slightly injured. It has to be awake. And one thing that you could try is saving and reloading the game. And we'll go to the fastest speed. And if you look at our martial arts, it's going way up. Same with our decks. But at the same time, gargles taking damage to her left arm and left leg. So we can only fight so long like this, and then we have to go back to mining some copper to recover. And we also have to pay attention to Gargle's hun hunger. Excellent. Dexterity, 21. Martial Arts, 21. So we can let the game run on the fastest speed like this until her arm and leg is too damaged and then she's going to collapse and the hybrids are going to throw her out of the building. Let's see how much we get in one go. I am gaining some toughness as well. Toughness is at 2 now uh, because of the damage we're taking to our arms and legs. Uh, we're not hitting as often now, but I believe that's because of the health here of the wounded. He's going unconscious, and when he's unconscious, we can't hit him. So maybe, maybe we just take a rest from martial arts. It is now 15 minutes after midnight, and martial arts is 38, dexterity is 38, toughness 2, athletics 5, and strength is still 1.
Stealth is now three. So let's talk to the shopkeeper here. Uh, you know what? We'll talk to the shopkeeper over in this building. Stealth on the way. Stealth is going way up. And we got to turn off Sneak to speak to him. Here he is. Show me your goods. Okay, we'll buy the lantern, sell the iron club, sell the pants, and then we'll buy generator core if we can't afford it. Oh, 2,000. Okay, so we're well off from generator core, so we'll have to use the copper for strength training. Any food? We gotta watch our hunger as well. Dried fish. Once we put the copper into our inventory, when we go back in martial arts train again, we will gain strength. Excellent. We're gonna go check on the gorilla out here. A little bit wounded, not too bad. Attack unprovoked. And this time we have uh, almost a full inventory of copper. Uh, weight is 41 out of 16, heavy. Fastest speed. Yeah, martial arts is going up. Dex is going up with every hit, and strength is also going up with every hit now. And every few days we may have to pick up the gorilla and put it back in bed to pay for the bed again. Because I believe that once the bed is no longer paid for, the hiver is going to try to kick him out. <laughs> Even though the, the animals are a little buggy when you get in the beds there. I think they might start attacking them. You just pick them up and put them back in. Uh, if I could buy a medical kit. If I can get one from the other hivers. Then I could heal the gorilla. Yeah, it looks like we're not able to hit the gorilla too much anymore. Uh, because of damage. We can also sleep in the bed here. And then if we need money for anything... You sell some copper, they sell for about 200 cats each. With jobs enabled, Gargle is trying to get to that copper resource right here. And stealth is on, and we got a whole lot of hivers over here, so I'm just kind of clicking every so often. And she's just sneaking through all these hivers, gaining stealth skill. We're at 18 right now. Twenty still. Forty-nine martial arts. Dexterity is forty-nine. It's almost the end of day two. Oh, here comes another gorilla right here. Excellent. I'm gonna fight him. Attack unprovoked. Attack target. Just draw him in and then... Yes, the Hiver's got him. Now with this gorilla, we can also pick him up. Over to the robotic shop. Put in bed. This one I can't loot. Pick up. I can't attack that one yet. It's unconscious. How about this one? This one's wounded. Fight him. Stats. Once this one wakes up, we should sometimes get double hit splash damage. And that'll increase the speed of training as well. I'm going to have to let them heal heal a little bit more. So I'll turn jobs back on.
Right, now we got two gorillas in there. Our arm and leg are pretty damaged, as well as the gorillas. It's now the beginning of day three, and we have 50 martial arts, 50 dexterity, strength is four, toughness two, stealth is 23, athletic nine, and swimming two, laboring 11. And we have uh, 1,324 cats. Thank you very much for watching, and subscribe for more videos.